Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to update the Dangerous Nintendo 64 emulator to the latest version. So this is for PSP and PS Vita, but for this video, I just decided to do it on my PSP because I haven't really been using it much. So what you guys want to do is just go ahead and connect your PSP to your PC. So just go ahead and press X on USB connection. And then when it's connected, I will show you guys what to do next. Alright guys, so over on your computer, you will need to go to the first link in the description just to get the latest version of Daedalus, if that is how you pronounce it, because I'm not even too sure. But as you can see, version 1.1.3 was updated 8 days ago, but it's not the complete file, all it gives you is an eboot.pvp. So the first thing you want to do is just download the 1.1.2 version. If you've already got it, that's fine. And um, for this video, I'm just going to re-download it again. So all you want to do is just click the RAR file and that will begin downloading. So it's around 40 megabytes, so just wait for that to download. And while that's downloading, we're also going to click the eboot.pvp of the version 1.1.3 and just let that download. Okay, so when all your files have finished downloading, all you want to do is just go to your downloads folder on your PC and you'll be able to find it in there. So with the version 1.1.2, right click and extract the file, just like that. And you can go into it and as you can see, there is already an eboot.pvp in here. So basically, for the latest version, for the 1.1.3, um, all that you have to do is just get the latest eboot and drag and drop it across. So it's going to ask you to replace the file. Just click that and then it will update it to the latest version. So get the um, emulator, right click, go down to copy, then go onto your PSP or PS Vita. It really doesn't matter for this. I'm going to be using my PSP 1000. So I'm going to go into the PSP folder, into the game folder, and then right click and paste. So just wait for that to copy across. It's roughly 40 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long. So we can also take a look at the improvements. So as you can see right here, it says further improvements to code optimization, including more efficient math and faster code for the media engine, bring even more further performance improvements. Also, next release may bring a rewrite to Flash Media Engine's job manager, making sound processing platform better and bringing games such as F0X, which were bottlenecked by the Media Engine, huge speed ups. So that is really good. So if you guys don't know what that means, it's basically going to make the sound sound a lot better and there's going to be some improvements so the games lag less. So that is the next release, keep in mind. Um, right now it's just this release. There's a few code optimizations. You might as well update. Um, you know, you might notice a few changes, you might not notice anything, but it's always better to be on the latest version. Now, because it's a fresh install, it won't have any ROMs, so I'm just going to copy across a Super Mario 64 ROM. So I'm just going to find it on my PSP, so it's right here. Go into the ROMs folder, just right click paste all of your ROMs in there, and it's entirely up to you where you get your ROMs from. Alright guys, so once you're back on your PSP, all you want to do is just close out of the USB connection and then scroll over to the game settings and then scroll down and just press X on your memory stick. So then hopefully it will come up with your emulator. If it's not on the top, just scroll down on the list and you will be able to find it. But what you want to do first is just press triangle on it, scroll down and press X on information and you can actually see in here what version it is. So as you can see, we know it's 1.1.3. So all you want to do, press circle a few times and then just press X to start it. So this will be exactly the same with the PS Vita, except you have to use the adrenaline emulator, um, obviously to play the PSP games. But yeah, as you can see, cover art is now working. I'm pretty sure it wasn't working in version 1.1.2, so that's always nice. Um, there was a few other features uh, which were on the GitHub page, but there wasn't really anything too big for me to mention. Um, the next update is going to be the best one because sound will be working, so I'm really excited for that one. But anyway, let's just start the emulation on um, Mario 64. 
But anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. As soon as the next update comes out, I'll probably make a video on it because the next update is actually going to be pretty good. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.